Hello and welcome to another VexCode VR uh, tutorial. Today is going to be a relatively brief one. Um, we are going to be looking at the pen and the magnet tools on the robot. So um, what I'm going to do first is just open up a playground and I'm going to stick with just the grid map which is the uh, which is the playground that we default to. Uh, let's have a quick look at the robot in the three-dimensional view and you can see uh, that it has this pen on the top there uh, and that can be raised and lowered and set to uh, one of four different colors and then on underneath um, we have uh, the magnet tool um, and that is a, an electromagnet similar to the one that is going to be in the VEX GO product range um, and it allows us to pick up uh, what we call discs um, which are uh, a plastic disc with a metal core um, that can be picked up by the electromagnet. And so those are the two things that we're going to be looking at today. We'll do the pen first, um, and uh, I'm going to use the, the grid map for this. So um, the commands for the pen tool are under the looks uh, section of the toolbox. And you only have uh, two blocks for it. One is uh, move robot pen, which can be set to either down or up. And the other one is set robot pen color and it can be black, red, green, or blue. Um, so what I'm gonna do is uh, demonstrate that by drawing a couple of squares uh, on the grid map. So if I go to the top view now, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move um, to this location here, and I'm gonna draw a square at that point, uh, and then I'm gonna draw another square of a different color inside it just to, to show the raising and the lowering of the pen and the setting for different colors. So firstly, I want to get uh, to this square here. Um, the grid on this particular map is uh, 200 millimeter squares. Uh, so the first thing I need to do is to drive forward uh, to get onto this line where I'm in the middle of this square already. So it's 100 to get to this one, two, uh, 300 to get to there, 500 to get to there. So the first thing I need to do is drive forward 500. Then I need to turn right 90 degrees, which is gonna put me uh, in the middle of this square. Um, and then I need to drive forward to get to this point, again, another 500. And now I'm going to turn left 90 degrees so that I'm facing up the playground to the top before we begin. Uh, and then we're ready to go. So the first thing I want to do, uh, now I'm in this position here, is draw the, um, uh, the first square, so the larger of my two squares. And for this one, I'm going to go forward four um, squares on the grid, which is two, four, six, 800 millimeters. And then I need to turn right 800 millimeters, right 800 millimeters. So for that, I'm going to use a repeat for loop. So here we go, repeat loop here. I want to get four times. And I'm going to drive forwards two hundred millimeters. And after I've uh, sorry, drive forward eight hundred millimeters. And after I've driven forward eight hundred, I want to turn right. 90 degrees and it's going to repeat that four times so now that's going to make my robot move in a square here now the one thing i haven't done yet is tell it to put the pen down um, and i need to make it put the pen down so that it actually draws the line and that needs to happen before i start doing the square so i'm just going to move this down go to my looks in the uh, toolbox and i'm going to say move robot pen down I think it'll be black by default. We can set it to another color. So uh, let's do that as well. We'll say we're going to make the color, um, let's make it red for the first square. Uh, and then I'm going to, so I'm going to draw that first square. Then what I want to do after I've drawn the first square is raise the pen up. So move robot pen up so it's no longer touching uh, the ground and so I won't draw a line when I move into position to do the next square and I want to do the next square one um, uh, one grid reference inside the previous one like this that's just going to be a much smaller square um, so to do that I need to move forward 200 turn right 90 degrees move forward another 200 and then 
turn left 90 degrees. Um, so that will move me uh, up one, turn right, in one, turn left. So I'm now facing back up and I'm going to draw an hour, uh, a two by two grid square. So that would be um, two lots of 200 millimeters forwards each time. So that's going to be 400 millimeters. So now I want another repeat for loop. And this time I'm going to drive forward 400 and turn right 90 degrees. Um, so that's going to be my second square. Now, again, I need to put the pen down and set a color to it. So I'm going to just break this off because before I start drawing the square, I need to move pen down. So it puts the pen down onto the ground. Uh, and this time, so we did a red square last time. Let's do a blue square this time. Okay, uh, let's run the code and see what happens. And you'll be able to track the code down uh, down here. You'll see each uh, instruction being highlighted as it's executed. So I'm going to click play. And the first thing I'm doing is moving forward 500. That takes me onto this grid line, turning right 90 and turning left 90. And I'm ready to start drawing my first square. So you can see here now I'm inside the loop. I'm going to go around these instructions four times to draw the square. So four sides and four corners. Then after that, I need to lift the pen up. So when I get back to this point, lift the pen up, drive into this square, and then put the pen down and draw the second square inside it. So that's the pen tool. Very, very simple. Just pen up, pen down, and uh, select the color. So when you're drawing patterns and things you just need to remember to raise and lower the pen when you're um, moving between locations that you don't want the line to be drawn. Uh, so very simple tool. Um, now we're going to have a look at the uh, the magnet uh, tool. And like I say, the magnet is very similar uh, to what will be in the VexGo product line. Let's create a new program. For this one, I'm going to go to the uh, disk transport. So these colored disks here, um, there is a red, blue, and green disks. They are not um, blobs on the ground. They're actually separate little uh, three-dimensional items that we can collect uh, using, the, uh, using the electromagnet tool. So if we go to the magnet part of our toolbox, there's only one command, which is energize magnet, uh, and it can be either boost or drop. So boost is to switch the, mag the electromagnet on and pick up an item, and drop is to uh, turn the electromagnet, uh, electromagnet off and release it. Um, so the first thing I want to do is I'm going to uh, demonstrate just driving over this, um, uh, this first disk here to the left-hand side without the magnet energized. Um, so uh, grid is uh, 200 millimeters on this, uh, on this playground, so I'm going to go forwards two, four, six and then half so I'm going to go forward 700 then I want to turn left 90 degrees so I'm facing this disc um, so I'm currently here facing this way um, and if I want to drive over the disc then I need to drive forward 200 and then um, uh, half a a square so 300 forwards to get right over that disk when I'm over the top I'm just going to put a little weight in just so we see it stop for a moment and then I'm going to reverse this procedure to get back to the start position so that will be um, in the drivetrain I need to drive reverse for 300 um, I then need to turn right 90 degrees to get facing back the way I was. I mean, I could drive forward, I could turn uh, the other way and drive forwards back to it. I'm going to, I'm going to reverse back to where I came from. And reverse back 700, so reversing the entire process. Um, so when I run this, uh, the robot will drive to this point, turn left, drive over the top of the disk, and reverse back up and of course I never energized the magnet so therefore the disc did not stick to the magnet. Now if I do the same thing again but this time 
Um, what I'm going to do is energize the magnet at this point. So just after we turn left, I'm going to energize the magnet to boost. So when we drive over the top of it this time, uh, this disc will stick to the magnet. Um, and then what I want to do is I'm going to actually drop it um, just so we see it being dropped. I'm going to drop it at this point here uh, on, on the junction of these lines here. So that would be um, uh, 300 millimeters back because it's one whole square and then half a square. So 300 millimeters back. So uh, here what I'm going to do is break this into two sections. I'm going to say um, drive in reverse 300 millimeters. Um, and then I'm going to energize the magnet to drop. So that will then release the, the disc. And um, what we'll do is actually we'll make the robot wait for one second there just so we see that it's stopped um, and release the disc. And then um, we need to go uh, another 400 uh, millimeters back just so that we then reach the starting point again. Because that 400 plus the 300 is the is the 700 that we need to travel here. But we're going to drop the magnet uh, drop the disc at the 300 millimeter mark. So uh, energizing here, energizing to boost to collect it, uh, energizing to drop to release it. So let's see that um, play out on the screen. So the robot's driving forwards. We've now energized the magnet, so it's collected the disc. We're going to Oh, now I've made a mistake there because this should be reverse. So let's just correct that code, reset the field. It should be reverse here. So I drove forwards into the castle instead of uh, reversing up. So let's try that again. Maybe we'll see this in the three dimensional view as well. So the disc is collected by the magnet there. And as we reverse back up, we stop here, we've dropped it and then reverse back into the starting place. So the magnet, very simple, um, just boost uh, and um, uh, boost and drop. So they're the two states that we have for collecting and releasing the discs uh, in the disc transport world. Um, and uh, that will also be usable in the uh, new disc mover world that's about to uh, be released as well. So I hope that was really useful. Um, and uh, thank you for watching.